everybody, today's video is sponsored by Upside. Okay. So welcome to another day of the Norps. If you watched our last video, you'll see that I'm having some, both Mike and I are having some second thoughts on only having a single sink in the bathroom. And so we thought before we go and pay like a bunch of money to get the counter done for our piece, our, our vanity that we're doing, maybe we'll go and look again at um, some double sink options at the Habitat for Humanity in Charlotte. We know we've seen vanities there before. They're not like, $50 they might be $400 but when you're actually looking at new vanities they're like cheap ones are like a thousand dollars for a double sink it is definitely a different direction than we were thinking a couple months ago but you know you just kind of whittle away at these things until you get to maybe what works best we're just gonna go check it out um, just to just to cover all our bases Let's go and see what they've got. Single sink. Oh my gosh, that's so cheap. How much is it? Two ninety-five. That's one twenty-five. That's just two sinks for forty-five. Yeah, I don't like that. Single sink. Okay, we didn't find anything in there that would work for us. I am feeling less inclined today to scrap everything because we're losing the mirror that we bought and can't return. We're losing um, the buffet that I love. Um, I'm wondering if there's just another way of doing this. Like maybe one of the things Mike didn't want to do was the sinks that sit on the counter because go he doesn't like them. But in a bathroom like that, I don't, I don't think the kids will care and he's not really using that bathroom. So that might make it possible for us to get two sinks in more easily. Um, but we're gonna go and look in their yard area and see if they just happen to have a countertop out here. I mean, they have pieces of like black granite here. It's got a lot of brown in it, I'm not really interested. So the other option is buying something like this. This thing is just thrown back here. And having Mike build a cabinet. It's a little bit beat up. This corner right here is a little oh, bit. But okay, well, we don't want to do that. You big. can repair that stuff. Oh, that's yeah. too big. It's 73 inches. Yeah. Or 70. Yeah, too big. Here's the glamour of the Norp renovation. Ooh. What is this? It's not super heavy, so it can't be. Oh my no. goodness, that is, that is. I'm just curious how big this is. That is 60, it's at 60 inches. So you, but what? The right size. I don't know what it is. It's, it's like plastic. It's, it's some sort of man made material. Yeah, this is not natural. I don't think I'm interested. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's, you know, when you guys are watching us, maybe not like other channels where you think that the main consideration is style and beauty. I don't know, but we also have lots of budget considerations so um i guess our number one consideration with budget is just make it as cheap as possible that's really um and you know as like get balanced out with like something that you'd like and would be functional and um so it's kind of like i, I watch these things where they make beautiful houses and they can just choose whatever they want i'm like well that's no fun I mean, if you can just choose whatever you want, that was pretty easy to make it beautiful. But I'm leaning back towards maybe looking at sinks that sit on top and still using that piece. The problem is I would lose the mirror if we did that. The other thing is, hold on, let's get to the van because it's really windy. So it's funny, um, in our last video, we talked about why we kind of like went back on this not having two sinks thing. And um, Andrew had been the one that said, we need two sinks. And then we're like, look, it's just not gonna work. We're not having two sinks. But then yesterday I told him like, we're getting two sinks. Cause like dad felt like it just wasn't working. And he kind of looked like, I don't know, maybe it's not that big of a deal. I'm like, 
you were the one all along who said but i did realize as i was telling him like well yes it was hard when daniel was in town but um that's like over already and Andrew and Elijah will be moving out with either before we move into the house or right after. I don't know, man. I don't Still know if it's worth kids. rewriting. I'm a function of reform type guy. Okay, so, so you think we should just like... I think there's a Home Depot across the street here. There is. There should we just there. go over there and just, look at what they have? to get a reference point again. We actually like looked across the street at that Home Depot and it was like super crazy busy. So we just drove home, dropped even Jude off. And on the way, talked about um, I, and looked at like Amazon for like vessel sinks that sit on top of the counter and saw a lot of actually really cute options. So we're going to go measure our vanity again. Just think about it. And um, I, I could just super seal the top, keep some wood in there. I think it's a cool look and it would save us, you know, at least $400 or so. Well, maybe $300 because you still have to buy the sinks. So... Let's go take a look. Okay. So let me look at some of the things I'm looking at and think about how they would fit on here. Okay, Mike is measuring and I have a few in here. Um, like this one is a 14.2 inch round sink. You just do 14 inches. So go back and from the front to the back. So that would be, you would have to almost like stick the um, thing at the corner coming over the mm -hmm. sink. Mm -hmm. Um, which is a possibility. This one's really pretty. Then this one is a lot. It has it built in and yep. it, it's 15.75. But what I worry about is that it's so small that it might be frustrating to like get your hands under. Then there's this kind, 16 by 12. So it's only 12 inches deep and 16 inches wide. So mm -hmm. obviously that could fit. You and it could because the hole would go in. So it doesn't actually matter if it goes over, you know, yeah. because the hole would be in the middle. And it, so the drawers would keep their integrity. I think it just depends on the look we want. Um, I like square, it just fits more naturally. Because your, this, this is a square repeat, like. I yeah, know. that's true. I mean, I think it also for your hands, it's less annoying. Maybe we should just do that and I restain this top and get a nice waterproof, you know, layer on top and we're good to go. I mean, it is a bummer to lose the mirror. Uh, but like I said, we, we, um, we could probably use that in our bathroom. Can we actually carry this in the bathroom and look at it? Yeah. Okay. That's very cute. I, I do. I'm really glad we're keeping this. That brings a lot of character to this room. So if you just have... Especially right now. Think. I'm just pretending to wash my hands because this is an important part of, true. of preparing. So then you just have your wall here, which I think is perfect. I mean, you just, you may be able to, you just have your towels and stuff so it's not too tight. Okay, so my job will be to sand this down, restain it, and um, waterproof it. And I love the green in here. Um, I wasn't sure, you know, I was getting kind of spooked about that, but I love the way that it looks, so. You're not like staring at it. Mm -hmm. It's just down here. And so it's a really fun pop of color. Yeah. And it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't feel as overwhelming as it does when you're looking at it from afar. So I'll just refinish this over here in the next couple of days. Let's just put it towards my seat here. We made the window. This is a mahogany veneer on here, which um, maybe you can't tell here, but it's very pink. So I think I'll actually go maybe even darker than this top. And then with the white sinks, I think it'll look quite sharp. So as I said earlier, uh, today's video is sponsored by Upside. As you have noticed, as we've been doing this video, all the videos on the home renovation, a huge part of what we're trying to do is save money on this project every way we can. We are harvesting brick, we're reusing other materials, we're doing a lot of the work ourselves and just trying to really pay attention to every nickel and dime to make sure we don't spend too much and stay within our budget. Also, just a normal life, I think we're all kind of feeling the pinch of a little higher prices at the gas pump and the grocery store. So that's why we partnered with Upside for today's video. Upside is an app that you can download that helps you save money, um, either at the gas pump or the restaurant or the grocery store. If you go to the link in the description of this video and use our code NORP and South, you can get started with that app and start earning 25 cents back per gallon that you buy at the at the gas station with our with our code. The way it works is you download the app, 
Get on your phone, pretty easy. Set up your account and then start looking for offers. There's gonna be restaurants or gas stations in your area or grocery stores that are gonna offer you cash back for shopping at their uh, their place of business. Just go on there, see what's local. It's really easy, there's just a list there. Click on one that's easy and close to you. It'll probably be a gas station that you already use anyways. Claim the offer, go to that uh, to the gas station, Fill, fill up your tank, upload your receipt, and then you're gonna get money back. I filled up the van the other day and I got over $8 back um, for filling it up, which is awesome. And once you've gotten that money back, you can cash out in a lot of different ways. You can just put it right back into your bank account, or you can put it back through PayPal um, or into any number of businesses that are already on the app to kind of do a credit within that business. A lot of different options for how you get your money back. A couple of the great things about Upside is they, they don't sell your information. So when you set up your account, you can know that your information is safe. They're not gonna suddenly get a bunch of emails or phone calls from third parties trying to sell you stuff. Also, it's got a 4.8 star rating on the App Store, so people are loving it. So go to the link in the description below in this video, download the app, Use our code NORP and South, and you can save 25 cents per gallon back in addition to what you're already getting just through the app if you use it normally. So give it a shot. Hopefully that helps you save a little bit of money. It's already helped us save some money. Times are tight right now. Might as well save wherever we can and enjoy a little extra money in your pocket. It's the next day. We're back over at the house. Mike's been doing most of the work over here, so I'm glad I have something to do today. You're gonna have the very, very fascinating job of what? I'm taking some of the nails out from the, this framing and then I got to take down these nailers that are up on the ceiling right now. Very, very And then we can start you can build the thinking wall. about this wall right here. That just sounds very, very fun. It is pretty exciting. Very fun. I have something I am kind of excited about. I was like working on furniture. I am going to be sanding down the top of the vanity and getting it ready. I don't, depending on how long it takes, I might go grab some stain too, but I'm gonna do that at the very least. I'm a little bit cold inside the house because there's no heat. I'll probably warm up as we get going here. I'm done with that and vacuumed it off. There's some little lines from the vacuum, but I'm not worried about that. You can't, it doesn't maybe translate that well here, but it's pretty pink. So I have to decide if I'm either just gonna go really dark, which could look nice, or if I'm gonna try to neutralize the red in the wood with some green stain undertones to make it, you know, just more of a neutral brown or what? I haven't decided yet. Let's see what Mike's doing. Looks good in here. Nice and clean. Looks torn up. Well, it looks less torn up. Yeah. Wall will come off of here. Yeah, that's the idea. With a door in it. Some of you suggested doing a slider for space, and we did think about that, but what a slider can't do is act as storage. So if you want hooks for towels or anything, like a towel bar, bar, you can't do that on a sliding door that slides into the wall. You could do it on a barn door, I guess, but barn doors aren't very private, and... Um, it they take up wall space. Privacy was an issue too. Yeah. Because the kids are very, they want to make sure they're safe in the Who room. Who doesn't want to make sure they're safe when they're going to the bathroom? <laughs> so we're just going to have a door that swings into this room, which is fine because well, it's a really it's, big it's, space it's, for one person. We thought we'd have it swing toward the shower, but I don't know. Well, the main thing is if it swings into this space, this is a very big space. And only one person's ever in this space at a time, or usually, I mean, I guess there's circumstances, but so it doesn't really, we're not worried about it taking up space in here because it's not gonna swing into the room that might have more than one person in it. And then, yeah, we'll put some storage right there so the toilet's like in a little nook and we can put towels and whatnot in there, but we gotta get going. We gotta go pick up some pizza for oh, geez, dinner right. for the kids and it's date night. Yeah. But probably on date night, we might go to the hardware store, huh? Mm, maybe so. Cause we don't really have much else to do. <laughs> so it's a couple days later. Um, it was the weekend and we took off for Sunday. You know, Mike and I are headed over to the hardware store, Asher's with us, so I can get some stain to stay in the top of the bathroom vanity. I um, haven't decided yet if I'm going to try to take it to a medium brown or to a dark brown. I will take it to a medium brown if I can get something green to neutralize the red in it because it is a veneer of, it's a mahogany veneer, so it's very pinkish red. 
but I also am concerned that in some places the veneer might be thin and that's gonna cause some spotting so I might just want to go ahead and do a dark stain over all of it and just be done I like to do an oil based stain just rub it on I feel like it's the easiest I never do gel based I've tried that in the past it's for me so hard to get right um, but <clears throat> these oil based stains that I get are pretty hard to get wrong the hard part about choosing to do the top is I'm choosing to do it before I've stained my floors. And I don't, I, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with the floors. I have red oak floors, um, and I don't know what I'm gonna stain them yet. Now in the bathroom, it's not gonna have the wood, so it's, you know, it's not like a huge big deal, but um, it's harder to choose when you're choosing something before you've chosen everything else in the house. But, um, and what I'm done, decided to do may be a total disaster. But what I'm gonna do is I got some bleach. I'm gonna bleach the top and try to take out the red that way. Like just some straight up clocks bleach. There are better ways to do it, but this is the cheapest and easiest way in my mind. And luckily it's a sunny day, so I'll do that outside. And then once that's dry, I got some old American color or early American. It's just like a nice medium brown. Um, probably a lot the same color of a lot of the antiques in the house that I have. So I'm just gonna go with that and see. It could be a disaster, and then if so, I'll just put a dark stain over the top of it and call it good. Mike helped me carry that out, or I helped him, really. I'm going to take some rags, and I'm going to bleach the top. And the reason we brought it out here is because the sun will help dry it quickly and help in the bleaching process. And that will hopefully take down some of the red, like I said. Red, like I said, and I can get it done. Anyways, I'm talking too much. I just need to do it. Well, the winter sun quality is not the most amazing and it's not super warm out here. So you can see, see how light this is back here now? That's because it's not actually mahogany, which is stained darker. Same with the front. Those have lightened up quite a bit. The top is lightening. It's kind of hard for you to see here. It's a little lighter and it looks even lighter in person. There's another light spot. Part of it is because it's still just so wet, so I need it to dry. So I don't know that I'll get to the staining today because I need to let this dry and even out. Another thing to keep in mind is I am covering a big section here and a big section here with um, sinks. So this will be the main countertop area right in between those. So I'm not too concerned about it you know the whole thing man it looks really streaky right now it's just still wet in the streaks so i'm gonna leave this for a while and come back to it when it's nice and dry i am back over the house it's been a day and i have not seen the top of the hutch i asked mike how it looks and he says it looks light um, i'm hoping that it worked but i had to leave it i needed it to dry hey guys the boys are working let's see how it turned out Right, that looks good. Sweet, feels good. Awesome, I mean, it's a little bit of, there's some parts that are a little bit darker, but when I stain it, it really won't show up. Awesome, hey. Hey. Perfect, I'm gonna do that now. Put some gloves on and get to staining. Bad luck, bad day, what should I do? under the this light right here it's very the nice very nice you can see right here there's a red streak but that's okay because the sink is going to be sitting on top of there this is really the only area that will be showing and so i think it's fine i am going to let it dry and i don't know if you know things always look streakier on camera i'm going to let it dry i'm going to do a second coat and then i'm going to be good i think it looks pretty i think it's a nice golden medium brown and we'll look great in there. If you're wondering, that's a natural wood thing. I like it. And the final coat is on. The lighting is here is terrible, um, but it looks really good. It looks like a nice medium brown. Um, it's not overly yellow like it looks on screen. And I think it will go well with what we end up doing with the floors out here. Um, so I'm happy with it and I'm glad it's not red and I didn't have to go too dark. Okay, while well, Megan is working on the, the little vanity thing, I'm in the bathroom. I'm finally getting to frame up the wall that we're going to use to um, divide the space. So I'm not sure if uh, it was missed along the way, but we're going to be adding a wall essentially right here that will 
create a separate room for the toilet and the and the bathtub so that if someone is showering or using the bathroom, the toilet, this area out here can still be used. So I gotta build a wall for that. What I've decided to do is to try to mirror that door. We're gonna use the same uh, door size as is right there, which should work in this space, and put the door on the same side so it's just, you know, it, it mirrors each other and hopefully looks like it was supposed to be there. Also, you're gonna notice I'll be using a drill to connect everything. Um, I have found that for someone new like me, if you're doing something small like this and you use nails and you realize that you screwed up, which I usually do halfway through, it's a lot easier to undo your mistakes by just uh, by taking the screws out than trying to pry uh, nails out. So I'll best be using the screw, uh, screws as all my connectors on this little project. <laughs> It's all framed up. I was able to steal some of our old, some of the old two by, that's a two by 12, I think, material we had from when we tore stuff down in the house earlier. So that's some old framing, which means that's really hard wood. Kind of difficult to get in place. Anyways, we're gonna put this up right now and see if it fits. Okay, let's lift up this end. Part of it is you gotta slide past everything. We got I need to straighten out a little bit. Right. But it fits. What? what I'm gonna have to do <laughs> is shim the top a little bit because it's not quite yeah, touching, but I'll shim it. Oh shim in place. What is shim? Shim is like uh, those little wedges uh, you see, like see this right here? That's a shim. Okay. Yeah, there's a space and it kind of like it, it makes up for the space and, and makes a hard place for the to make a connection. I thought it was just like a, re a replacement for a square word. <sighs> no. I think we did it. That's awesome. Sweet. Okay, Andrew was practicing um, being in the other room using the facilities. You would be on that side. It isn't quite as obvious right. here. <laughs> we need an occupied sign to be yeah. out here, like a button you can push that like turns on a light so people know. It's kind of like when you're filming and yeah. on a soundstage. He would still go. <laughs> that's true. Okay, so that's awesome. Look at that. Man, you added a wall to the house, Dad. It's like a real wall and everything. We're not just taking away now. We're adding. I know. Feels good. Dad added. Floor is all done. Everything's looking good. Okay, well, we'll get that all tapped into place the right way and then uh, should be good to secure it. We should have a little window right here. Yeah, <laughs> like a porthole? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Megan just showed up. It looks good. Just having a look at the wall. I, I got it all. I made a doorway. I made a real doorway, man. It's legit. Wall. It's huh? your first wall. Good job. I did make a wall over there once upon a time. Oh, well, but your second wall. this is the second wall. Um, I got it all squared up. I had to kind of treat it like a door frame and add some shims, but yeah, it's going to work. I'm going to cut off the bottom plate and should be, should be good to go with this one. So I wanted to move in our vanity and just look at it in here against the wall and I don't know, just to look at it and yeah. finish up this little part of the project. That's it. It's a little okay. dark right now, so... Um, hard to see it. Yeah, my toothpaste. I guess the question is, what do you think, babe? Um, do we move it to one side and leave, or do we center it? Probably center it, right? Right now we have space on each side. I think centering is probably the thing to do. It's just then you can't really use that space. It's just empty. That's true. Well, if you're going to put it against any wall, I would probably put it here. Yeah. 
And then you have room for like a trash can over there? Yeah, that's true. I mean, you've already got... It's just visually... I'll have to ask my sister. What do you guys think? <laughs> center it? Do you think I should center it on this wall with like probably six to eight inches on either side? Or should I move it down and then have space right here for like a little trash bin or something mm -hmm. like that? It's just then... You know, I was going to put like hand towel things on either wall. Now that's kind of far away. You have to put it on the back wall. And we're going to do a big mirror here with the lights above. Um, we can't do it on the back wall because there's going to be a mirror running this whole length. Oh, well, it's running the length of this thing, but you'll have some well, room over here. Here and here, uh -huh. you know saying? The, the that's towel. That's true. What do you guys think? I have to think about that. It's hard know. to have a look at it because it is pretty, it's not a lot of floor space in here, but. Love it. That's it. Is fits. it a good size? Yeah, there's still, I mean, there's still enough room to walk around. The boys, what I was saying was with the boys, we should just put, put another wall here that just has like a mini door. You step right into the shower. So then you can be showering and some can be using this facility. Well, we are facility. doing a curtain. We're doing a shower curtain. So that still can happen, you know. When you, have simply, <laughs> you can technically like, walk in. Once I get in, depending, you can come on, in and use <laughs> depending on what you're going to be doing. <laughs> okay, our sinks came in last night. Um, oh yeah, baby. Our last video that we just saw, like we got a phone call from the kids and then never finished. So. Oh, like where we ended the last. Yeah. Clip. So figured we'd wait until we our sinks came in, and they did. Look at that. And um, they're really simple. They don't go down into the piece at all, so you can just sit it right on top. And it's a little tall, but we tested it with our kids last night, and they're all going to be fine. And also, someday when we have smaller kids using it, we'll just keep a stool underneath. Mm -hmm. And then we have a black things coming. What are those called? Faucets. faucets? Black faucets coming. And That'll, then, that mount behind the sinks. Yeah, and then we're going to do a mirror that's about the length, and three lights above. Actually, last night I got really like stressed, like. I don't know, man. It's just so many moving parts and like, you know, on these nice design shows, they have them all like laid out in front of them. All <laughs> like, but I'm just like ordering and like, hope that looks good with that and that and that. And then I'm finding like used things and pulling it all together. And it seems kind of like, but I, last night. You're telling I, me we, we can operate like an HGTV like no, design show? No. Oh. Jean Stouffer, you know. She's got it going we, on. Yeah, she's got it going on. We don't. Um, I don't know what her budgets are. But anyways. What show is that? What's it called? You should tell them. You like it. What is it called? The Established Home. The Established Home, yeah. Anyways, she's a she's a dreamboat. But anyway, so what I did last night and helped me out a ton is I got, went on like Photoshop and did a mock-up, mm. which I'll put right here on the screen with me. Is there space? I think so. And maybe. that made me feel a lot better because I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Because I was just like hoping that like, is this all just like so, because I'm using an antique piece of furniture with more modern mirror and like art deco lights and like, is it coming together? But it is. And I'm happy with it. So, um, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm feeling good about this. Let's see it. This is what it, from the front. Yeah. It, I'm going to do a final coat of paint once it's all done. I'm not going to seal this until, like, we are really ready to go. Because I want to see it and make sure that that's the color I want it to be and that everything is coming together. So, um, I can't, once you seal it, that's it. That's it, folks. Totally. But, that's where we're at, and we got the wall in, the doorway. We showed all that. Yeah, and Mike's got... We can see it a little bit better in really the light. really rolling now. I feel like they're finally to the point where, like, we got some foundation in and stuff, but that'll be in the next video. We'll be framing out the walls finally, putting floors down, or at least subfloors down, so there'll be spaces there. So it's good. Yep. We knew this point would come, so come back next time to start rolling with us. Also, it's kind of nice because there's a there's construction going on, on next door. So in the background, it always sounds like there's lots happening in our mm, house, yeah. even though it's actually happening next door. The, the, you know, they have a dozen, you know, <laughs> men over there. Working. They have they have real workers. Yeah, instead it's just of like us. children. Yeah, kids, yep. child labor. <laughs> um, today I had some help though with the foundation, but we'll show that in the next video. So thanks for coming along, guys, and. Um, you know, it is definitely a different type of renovation when you're trying to do it um, using found materials and, you know, doing as much of it as possible on your own and trying to keep the price low. So I hope that you're enjoying it. <laughs> I hope it's more interesting. Uh, it's more something. 
But thanks for coming along and being supportive and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.